Today we're going to find out how many bones you could possibly break in one single day. We're going to start by sliding down the stairs into that man. And we're going to end with partnered yoga. We broke zero bones this time. But we are nothing if not persistent, so we're going to yeet ourselves down the slope one more time. <laughs> this time we didn't even make it to the stairs. But if we get a good launch, we can absolutely launch that guy down the stairs at least, and it counts if we break his bones. And you know what they say, teamwork makes the dream work. We've quickly earned a thousand dollars, which is enough for a skateboard, which is going to make things much more dangerous. Just standing on it looks uncomfortable. So I feel like we're going to get a lot better result out of this. We're coming in hot. Okay, we picked up a little of speed to begin with. That guy got way tossed down the stairs that time. This is much better. That surely broke something. We broke zero bones, but we did break the vehicle. We got $500. Okay, but this is where things are going to get serious. We've evolved into Spider-Man. And now it'll be easier to keep track of which character is which. I think maybe if I start off with a slower start, yeah, that's better. He's going to pick up speed on the skateboard before hitting that man. And then we're going to slide down the stairs together. It's actually a love story. $3,000 for a shopping cart. I would be stupid not to buy that. Nothing could possibly go wrong with this as we launch ourselves down a high-speed hill straight into another man. But that's okay, I'm Spider-Man. I can get away with this stuff. <laughs> okay, that guy went down in a hurry. That had to have broken his spine. And my ego. Even that wasn't enough to do it, but we are making good money. We do have some different poses we can try. This is going to put the weight to the back of the cart. Uh, that's inevitably going to lead to a lighter front end. So we'll hit that guy, hopefully, and flip him up into the air. Uh, well, we launched him down the stairs. So I guess we got that part accomplished. And we ended in a not safe for work pose. There's all sorts of fun ways you can ride a skateboard. I had no idea. I never see anyone ride a skateboard like this for some reason. Okay, we're going to head that guy, headbutt that guy straight down the stairs. I just really love how consistent this one is at spearing that man right in the groin before launching him down the stairs. It's my signature move at this point. And we spent $5,000 on a brand new level, so let's see how it feels. Okay, we got the shopping cart part of things wrong. And there's a wall for us to play with. We need to hit that at some speed. I assume putting ourselves fully into this shopping cart will be the most stable way to pick up some speed, but we'll find out soon. This way we should hit the wall and, wow, sm smash it with our head. Okay, we're gonna try that same thing from the skateboard though. Okay, never mind. We just, we, we just drop the bricks on our head again and again. What we can do is buy more bricks and set them down below though. So when we do finally manage to have a breakthrough and get through the wall, we got more bricks waiting for us down below for extra damage. I've also just discovered something amazing. There's an eject button, so when I get to about here, I can actually throw myself <laughs> at that man and knock him down at high speed. And we both go flying down the stairs together and look at that score. And we broke 230 bones. We got a new level to explore, so we're going to assume our regular pose. That's very stable when we're going down the hill. Okay, well, there's a small lump, and then we fall down that, and then we keep on sliding right on our face. We're doing a face slide, and then we're going to do another face slide. So naturally, the next step, on this giant slope is adding a few brick walls for him to go through. So we're going to gracefully go down the first slope. We're going to eject right about there, go down the hill, picking up speed and bouncing over bricks through the second wall. And there we're going to come to a graceful stop. Okay, turns out if you eject yourself at the top of the hill, you can absolutely launch yourself. That's got to break some bones. We made it to the bottom in record time. Ah, yes, a triangle. Those are very sturdy. I think we get a little more leverage if we eject from this pose. Yeah, there we go. We hop like a frog. We're going to skip right along his head. And then we're going to drop down. And then we're going to tumble through this guy. Three times the people for three times the bone breaking. And then we're going to do three-way yoga at the bottom. Oh, but we're not going to stop there. We have a bicycle in our power now. Uh, not, not a very sturdy bicycle as it turns out, but we launched that guy into space. Not sure where he went, but the score is going up. Broke 102 bones, none of which were mine. We took that man's head off with a bike tire. I wish I got that on recording. The tire hit him so hard his head fell off. So it turns out that doing this is the key to riding a bike. Okay, we're going to eject ourselves there. That way we pick up some speed and the tires take off. The tires pick up speed really quick themselves and then they launch those guys somewhere else. It's really a lot of fun figuring out all the different ways you can just sort of eject yourself at weird times and then <laughs> you hit the bottom straight into that guy while the bike's up top killing that other guy for us. And I'm sure we'll see them soon. There it is. My bike came back. And there's that man. <laughs> and we made another human pile. Okay, we have a new setup to play with here. This time we're going to ride our uh, paper thin bicycle down the hill. We're going to run into that man. And we're going to go flying down. There's TNT behind us now, which absolutely blew up my bike. Uh, as for us, we happily skipped over it this time. That brings us to a level called speed. Now we are wearing a helmet, which is great because as always, safety first. We're riding the world's vibratiest bike. I can't wait to see what we're about to run into. Oh, it's a wall. 
okay, well, we could work with that. So naturally, the first thing we're going to do is ride into a man and tear him into several parts. He knocked our helmet off and then a bomb, which is going to catapult us up. And then all the body parts are going to hit the wall <laughs> in a fiery pile of goo. I think it makes more sense aerodynamically to ride on the front of the bike. Uh, that way we uh, pick up maximum speed before hitting this gentleman. Oh, never mind. We might be uh, mistaken. Well, lucky for that guy, we got the same result. And the bike took the brunt of the explosion. So while that was good, I think we could do better. Okay, this time I ejected on the bike, so I hit him with more force, which didn't seem possible considering those are his legs flying through the air. And the explosion is going to be celebrated by us as well. I was getting so carried away with the bike that I forgot that there's other vehicles we can use. We're going to drive a full-size car straight into the man ahead of us. Uh, we've killed ourselves with our acceleration. Uh, this man's probably also about to die. We literally cut him in half with a Miata. No one knows how dangerous those things really are. And then I put a jump there because I wanted to see how good the car could jump. And turns out it's pretty good. I can't eject myself anymore because I think I died like 40 seconds ago. But we still had a good time. So I think that would be better than us riding in the car. It would be us riding on the car. That way we're going to share uh, this man's space with him. And then we're going to also go into a bomb shortly. And since we're all in the front of the car, that should mean good things. That's a pretty high score. I think we broke a lot of bones. And then we got crushed by the car. Uh, we had 9,000 bones broken. So between two people, that's quite impressive. This level costs 25,000 and I understand why there's three people. So they're worth roughly $8,000 each. And we just need to figure out what to put below them. It's actually surprisingly hard to get over that edge. The bike seems to work wonders though. And then that blows up and launches a tire into our head in a giant explosion of people. So I think what would make this one better is if we ejected there. There we go. Now we got some force going. Now we can all go flying over and enjoy the bomb. Oh, we missed it entirely. We need more bombs. Luckily for us, we can literally buy a giant stack of them. That's going to be much harder to miss. It's really a game that's all about finesse. We're looking for the Goldilocks zone. We don't want to hit them too hard. We don't want to hit them too little. We want to hit them just right so we land on a giant stack of bombs. Well, at least that guy did. But you can stack the deck in your favor. You want to hit a stack of bombs, you put a giant one in front of you and you drive a car into it. Maybe the bike's actually faster. If we drive the bike straight into the bombs, what's going to happen? We're going to pick up speed, kablammo. We blew our helmet right off. The bike fell apart, but we're okay. Uh, until that happened, that probably wasn't his favorite moment. Again, we're going to exercise a little finesse. We're going to move nice and slowly to hopefully scoop up this man in front of us and gently carry him to the bombs. And this might actually work. We're not going very quick. So yeah, you, sir, come with us. We have an important mission. That's it. Head first into the bombs. Got him. I don't know how that didn't explode him into a million pieces. We need to try harder. It broke zero bones. Okay, this time we're going all in on our car strategy. We're going to launch this thing as hard as we can. And then we're going to hit this little jump, which is going to launch us airborne. And we're going to jump right over those guys who are probably very, very glad that I put a ramp in front of them. So let's replace the ramp with a speed boost. So in comes the speed boost and got him. The bombs don't miss that time and we light everything on fire. We're going to go out in a hot blaze of glory. Explosions just make everything better. Perfect. Okay, that guy got li ripped literally into pieces and we launched way into the air. That's definitely an airtime record. You know it's been a good day when you end up with your feet in your mouth. 1400 bones broken, airtime 34. I think the way to probably break the most bones is launch this thing at high speed. We're going to hit man number one, whose body parts are going to activate the bombs under the other three. And then we've uh, murdered five people simultaneously. In my experience, nothing destroys people like the raw torque of a tractor. Luckily, this one's supercharged, so it's going to stop for nothing. And we're going to ram them straight into that bomb and then absolutely disintegrate their lives. What might be better, though, is a speed boost just before hitting all the men. And then we can really destroy them. This could be fun. This level is called high voltage because there's a high voltage lightning bolt sitting across the top of it. But if I'm going to go through this, I'm going to bring someone else with me. And you know what? We're going to put a person at the bottom too. I think for this, we need to go back to old trustworthy. We're going to hop on our skateboard. We're going to launch ourselves right there to hopefully get that guy going. Come on, push us over the edge. How romantic. This is another one of those levels that requires a little bit of finesse because you don't want to go too far, but you don't want to go too short. You want to be able to fall all the way down like that and land on that other man. This is going to be a high speed impact. Got him. This one's got to be good if it's called Hell Machine. Yeah, this does look like something I would consider to be a Hell Machine. So I'm taking this guy with me. Come along on a ride with me, friend. I've got a bicycle. He's got his arms outstretched to me. He wants a hug. There's no hugs where we're going. <laughs> Get over the edge. I'm coming too. Down we go. <laughs> that works well. 
yeah, those things really do work to uh, eviscerate a man. He's just a bunch of body parts at this point. Me, I'm much tougher though. I don't break that easily. So this time we can hit him with a little bit more speed, just to give him a little more push down into the uh, hell machine, as we call it. And then we're going to go for a little ride through it all, breaking every bone in existence, even some we didn't actually have before. And our face smash into the ground to top it all off. But naturally, it's time to escalate. We're going to eject right there, so we, hit, <laughs> we decapitated that man's head with our head. And then the car came for a ride with us. And then we're all falling to the ground together. That's got to be a lot of broken bones. The score definitely reflects that. Pretty sure the car, yep, is still coming down. 2300 bones broken. Wonder if we can hit a million somehow. What do you think this giant cloud of smoke is for 50 grand? Probably something fun. I like how when I'm just sitting in the car, I look like I'm already dead. In fact, I might be. But we're gonna go find out what this plume of smoke thing is while being ready to eject. Okay, it's literally a launcher. Wow, that puts me so high. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going for a chiropractic spinal adjustment here. Ooh, it's gonna spank us and then wedge us against the wall. Uh, we're still moving technically. We're still going. This might be a record for broken bones. We did a lot of different things. 2000 wasn't a record, but it was close. So we're just driving our tractor along one day when we hit an innocent man, run him over, and turn him into mulch, which we're going to use as fertilizer. Then we're going to hit an air geyser, which we Spider-Man ourselves into the wall. But we forgot we don't actually have superpowers, so we just died in a bloody wreck. <laughs> this is fun. It's just obstacle after obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. So we need to explore this to see if this is going to work. Okay, this arrow is flying everywhere. I didn't know that before. Oh, my favorite vehicle in the world is back. Okay, we gotta secure this cargo so we're gonna make sure we ride on top of it. Okay, that didn't work well. It already went off and we're flying through the air. Have no idea what's going on down below, but uh, we definitely Spider-Man pancaked ourselves into a wall. The explosions went off right as we were going by them. There's the rest of the car. I love how this is a vehicle in the game. It's literally just a catapult, so we can just launch ourselves out of it and go wherever we go. I feel like we're headed right back for that wall we love so much. We went over that wall we love so much. And look at the different poses we could have. This one might rip our arms off, so I'm here for it. Okay, we're going to launch that max power, front flip, <laughs> double front flip, and somersault. Well, we just got to be sure to test it every which way to make sure it's working properly. That one's fun. Back flip, double back flip. Okay, we're going to smack the wall. Are we going to get any arrows this time? Uh, is there actually a cannonball that falls out of that too? Well, we took a few arrows, and then for some reason the catapult came with us. We took another arrow. Look at that score. We just can't stop today knockout just knockout okay let's see what knockout has in store for us oh okay so it's a giant punching thing it's just gonna punch us and uh break our leg oh it's gonna pull us back and then punch us again i like this thing okay, it's gonna give us a little punch again and that's gonna help just put us forward a little bit where we're we gonna land way down there there we go that's the launch we're looking for i laid a few props down below we're probably gonna fly right over them on this one but it's not my fault that hand punches really hard I've done it. I filmed the ultimate vehicle because this one comes with someone else. <laughs> and if they have the option to put them on the front for some reason, great. Now you can take the front of the impacts. Okay, well, we went ahead and let him go ahead to scout the rest of the level. We're going to go ahead and get our spine adjusted by the giant chiropractor. I see the bike, but I don't see our partner anymore. Oh, there he is. We even paled ourselves and him. Oh, the, hit the bomb. Perfect. Chain reaction. And we launched him back into the air again. He's very bouncy. I can't wait to see all the fun things we can do with our new friend. Like we can use him to murder other people. We have saws in the game. I can't wait to see what saws do for us. Come on, friendo. We're gonna go explore the saws together. Mostly. Okay, turns out the saws just kind of cut you into a billion pieces. Those launchers work well. They're gonna keep shooting us up and up again. And that's gonna work out great because we're on the saws. Hey, look, our bike's still going too. We're gonna make so many points on this level because the saws perpetually put us in the air. And full body across the saw. Yeah, that's got to break some bones. But we do also have this vehicle that comes with multiple people and they don't have to be inside the car. Nor do I want them to be. All right, guys, good luck. Watch over the saw blades. They're kind of everywhere. Okay, well, we're going into the saw blades for sure and everything's going to bounce around horribly. Oh, they missed the saw blades. They don't realize how lucky they are. I think the trick to this one is going nice and slow. That way we directly hit the saws and then we can spill them, them out directly into the saws as well. Perfect. This man's crushed between the 4,000 ton van and the saw, which should mulch him up real nicely. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's trying to get away from me and I'm trying to get rid of him. I'm kicking him in the face, but he doesn't want to let go. He doesn't want the saws. I think ultimately this will work best if I have just a little slow start. That way I dump them out directly onto the saw blades like that. There you guys go. Enjoy. 
He's so graceful when he flies around on that thing. Look at him go, it's like a ballerina. This level is appropriately called Meat Mincer, and I think I understand why. We just need some meat. Nothing could possibly go wrong with this, we're gonna have a nice slow start, that way we tend to dump them down. There we go, we're in the meat grinder and somewhere there we're bouncing back and forth against all those raging saw blades. 80,000 RPM of razor sharp steel versus Spider-Man and his two idiots. Oh, and I forgot there's bombs at the bottom, but the bombs probably went off a while ago. I'm not sure what happened to my friends, they curiously didn't come down. Oh wait, there they are, <laughs> they were just caught up in the saws for a sec. Maybe the best prop at the bottom would be another meat grinder. So let's see how my friends feel about that. They're gonna join me for the ride, and they're gonna get real mulched up before they even start falling down the way. The van almost had a full blockage there. And the best part is, is all gonna land on more saw blades to keep things bouncing around nicely, and the friends join me this time. I don't have to be lonely down here. 5,700 bones broken. That's a new record. Do you think this is a bad idea for any reason? I can't tell anymore. This time we should hit the uh, saw blades with a little bit of extra speed, considering we're bouncing off the roof first at a very high speed. And the catapult's coming with us. I love when the vehicles join me in the afterlife. And right onto the saw blade, straight on the spine. That's probably going to be a finishing blow. I think the catapult actually repeatedly goes off. I launched again and we're stuck down on the saw blades amongst the van. And the score just keeps going up and up and up. And these guys' fate is just a perpetual getting ground up by the saw very slowly. They finally got jammed up together right on top of the saw, which actually jammed it out, but we got a huge score on that one and we broke 20,000 bones. I don't yet know what to make of this level. I can't see where I'm launching from, but there's a lot of different things between me and the bottom. So naturally I'm bringing my friends along. And they're wild, so they get to stay on top of the van. And so they're gonna enjoy their saw blade at the beginning, and we're gonna bounce all the way down, bouncing from saw blade to saw blade before getting electrocuted, which is right about now, and then back into a saw blade. All the while we're being penetrated by pieces of the van and each other. And then we're also going to be crushed for good measure. And once we finally make it to the bottom, another saw blade for our enjoyment. And it's going to keep jiggling us around until it is a goo. I'm hoping that maybe bombs at the bottom instead will have an even more explosive outcome. We're definitely in a hurry to get to that. We're very excited about the bombs and we're going to be the first one down. Perfect. Oh, maybe not. It's a race to the bottom. Perfect. There's the bombs. We're going to watch our guy explode. Straight back to the top. Oh, we were rejected by the crusher. Yep, there's a whole bunch of different things going on here, so I'm going to enjoy it with my friends. Don't worry guys, you're on the inside of the van, therefore you'll be very safe. Watch out for the bombs though. Okay, well, the van didn't last as long as I thought it might. But that's okay, there's lots of saw blades to catch your fall. And I just hear a giant chain reaction of explosions and grinding sounds. There's a lot of different stuff going on, we're headed straight for the bottom, and there's arrows and fire! Uh, we just impaled ourselves on the roof of the van. We made a slight change to the level layout. We're going to start a little bit slow because we want to bonk that guy on the head on the way down. Then we can all launch together. I like how they got their feet stuck in the van. That's not a good place to be stuck to because this van is <laughs> bound to disintegrate rather soon. Well, we managed to start ourselves out on a ledge, which is very peaceful for once. On this level, I don't get any choice of props, so we'll just go ahead and bring our friends along and see what we see. The level is called Gravity Force, so presumably gravity is going to have some kind of uh, effect on us, and indeed it did. We hit a mulcher, we hit gravity, oh there's a puncher, there's saw blades, oh we left our friends behind. Oh and there's an air jet at the bottom to push us back up somewhere. Perfect, oh it's supposed to push us that way, and then that's also going to push us that way. Uh, okay, there's a lot, a lot of different things going on. Come on, we gotta go that way, get out of my way stupid, I've got places to be. Actually takes a fair bit of skill and luck to make it to the end of this one. Okay, this could be it. We're making it further than ever before. We're launching right over that one into that mulcher and the finish line. The top secret level is just a giant question mark, which I already love. I can't speak to how much I love this. And we can adjust the angle. Well, let's find out what's in the sky first. Okay, just a giant backflip that's probably really hard on the spine. Oh, and there's people up here. The last reminder died. Hey, let's try a nice low shot then. Where's that gonna lead us? There's gotta be a hill or something. Oh, it's just people. Just people running into people running into people. I tore that guy's arm right off. It must be the medium shot we're looking for then. That's gonna be just in between them all, I think. Okay, or not. Well, that guy died once again. Turns out you don't have to use the cannon here, so I'm going with my secret weapon. I want to find out what's further down this level, so those three guys are probably going to die. Ooh, a tunnel. Oh, there we go, up the tunnel. I don't know if the van's going to fit here, to be honest. We're just going to get stuck in the roof. But we're going to need a different weapon. I don't know which vehicle to use to make it to the end. 
I was going to use this and eject, but I lose the chance to eject. I still might make it out. The car might disintegrate here. This might be good. They're going up the mulcher. Do I get to go up the... I do. So <laughs> there's all the body parts from my friends. Uh, they are having a tough day, and we're going to get to go further. What's up here? Okay, this might be the end of the level. We get to land in a pile of their body parts. Just what I've always wanted. Perfect. 